100 meter hurdles for under 17 girls, two semi final races. Semi final one on track Madison Moss of the Bahamas, Tenny Vincent of Trinidad and Tobago, Malaya Duncan of Jamaica, Lindy Saha of Guadeloupe, Zaza Franz of Curacao, and Tejanique Huggins of St. Kitts and Nevis. Fastest in the field by a distance. Malaya Duncan of Jamaica, Zaza Franz of Curacao, bronze medalist last year. She goes in lane number seven with the Jamaican in five. Tani Vincent of Trinidad and Tobago already has high jump bronze at these Carifta games here in Grenada. Top two short to go, top three short to go through, plus the next two fastest. Set. Off they go. Duncan got up quickly, the Jamaican. The Bohemian must also going well. Zaza France coming through on the outside. Vincent finishing well. Malaya Duncan ahead of last year's bronze medalist Zaza France with Tinique Vincent getting the third and final automatic qualifying spot. Malaya Duncan and the opening leg for the Jamaicans on the under 17 girls 4x100 winning team last night. And she returns this morning with a 14-26 effort to ease through qualifying and advance to the final. Represents St. Jago High School back home. Her schoolmate, Brianna Davidson, has won the last two under-17 girls titles. So St. Jago High School looking to make it three in a row for Jamaica in this event. And Duncan starting very, very well coming through to take that first semi-final. Here's another look at it. Duncan is in lane number five. She gets to the first hurdle first. Zaza France rugged in lane number seven on the outside, but she fast and focused as the Jamaican is easy and comfortable, beautiful technique. And she eases across the line, snapping beautifully. Real quality hurdling going on at St. Jago High School. Duncan, negative 1.9 meters per second, the wind speed, 14.26. Zaza France qualifies, 14.33. Tony Vincent of Trinidad and Tobago is also through at 14.75. We watch 14.91 for Madison Moss of the Bahamas and 14 and 15.20 for Saha of Guadeloupe. Those 